Dante Hall's our guest, and his partner in um, some other films and projects, et cetera, is here as well, Mike Jansen, who is the uh, stadium announcer for the Indianapolis Colts there at Lucas Oil Stadium. Mike, hi, how are you? Greetings, Ed Wank. I'm Mike Jansen, your stadium announcer. <laughs> but you know, I'm glad it's a bye week. Even the stadium announcer needs a bye week. I would I, imagine. I got, I got you a cold. A, I have a cold. Yeah, well, so then, how, how good would that be if by the third quarter I was, Manning's pass complete to 87, Reggie Wayne. Well, everybody in this team is injured. Yeah. This is tough, man. Yeah. This is tough. You were just telling me off the air, we're talking about Ghost Stories 4, which is Dan's latest uh, ghostly extravaganza, about the creepiest thing you have seen uh, as far as these films are concerned. Right. I think, uh, and Dan can check me if I'm wrong, Dan was shooting uh, uh, one of his movies out at Central State, and they had some creepy things happen while they were shooting. Mm-hmm. And so um, one of his first documentaries out there, uh, they set up a camera in the hallway of a, a vacant building in Central State. And, I mean, you're watching it. You're you're looking at it. And something moves. It's like a dark figure. It almost uh-huh. looks like a, a black see-through sheet. Uh-huh. But something goes through the, the image, through crosses the path of the camera. And the camera had autofocus. So uh, it was trying to latch on to something. So it goes blurry and then back. You know, I mean, we've all I seen that. I understand how autofocus yeah. works. That, that yep. was freaky. That is that was really freaky. disturbing because that means that it's not a shadow, that it's an actual – Something, something. There, there's being, something there. Yeah. Something is there. Now, yeah. You had a you had a good point as well, Dan. There's when you're doing these investigations. You mentioned playing with the Ouija board, which has always made me kind of superstitiously nervous. But there's there's two things that you encounter here. You're of the opinion, right? I, I think well, especially this last time around, I think there are two things. And one is ghosts, you know, regular hauntings uh-huh. kind of thing. The other is of the demonic elk and i think you know you really need to be careful i think these guys are going and provoke stuff i think they're just asking for trouble you know you really got to be respectful and you got to know uh when the water gets too deep mm-hmm. and you know I mean, if you can't swim in it you got to get the heck out so well it was interesting too because uh some of the evps the the voices that dan picks up i mean you can hear them clearly i and, and earlier we were talking well, about yeah. the the shows you know that yeah, you sure. see on travel channel or whatever but some of those are, are so funny because it's like you hear, and the guy goes, he said John Wilkes Booth. <laughs> and I'm like going, and, what? how'd you get that? How'd you get John Wilkes you Booth You spent years that? listening to Black Sabbath records backwards, haven't you? <laughs> haven't you, young man? Yeah. It All is right. subjective. I mean, you got to really. Uh, it is. And it's, it is. It's, once you, like you're editing that stuff over and over and over again, you start to hear those phrases and things in your sleep or you see stuff in your, I can't. Yeah, I'm not, I wouldn't call, I wouldn't say I'm a skeptic. But I, I, I have I have a, a guarded interest in this stuff. But I definitely have a, an open mind. And you're right; there is stuff that yeah. stuff like what you've just described yeah. really fascinates me because there are those moments where there ain't no other way to explain it. The yeah. folks from Indie Ghost Hunters have a little piece of footage on their website. Uh, I believe it's from Hannah House where a door opens and there's absolutely no wind in the room because there's a curtain right next to the door mm-hmm. and it's ah. complete. There's nobody around. It's completely unexplained. Uh, the folks they've got shots from both sides of the door, so you know that nobody's shoving on it where you can't. See. It's pretty impressive stuff. You guys also are doing some work for the Colts that we should mention. We are uh, uh, this please. season. We, this season we started uh, on the Colts Up Close show. It's on tonight at ten thirty five on WNDY. But uh, they're trying to do some different things. They're having a cooking show, um, you know, some tailgate ideas. Uh-huh. And they came to me and said, uh, hey, we want you to do some something funny. So come to us with an idea. So uh, I brought my friend Dan T. Hall in. That's and me. Um, and what we came up with was a, a bit where I talk like the stadium announcer all the time. I, I mean, I've when I'm it. anywhere. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. And <laughs> so um, we've done a lot of fun stuff. I introduced my uh, the priest at our church with a you know starting lineup. And, uh, <laughs> uh, I read Green Eggs and Ham to some preschool kids. Uh, and tonight I do roll call for a uh, uh, police precinct. Beautiful, beautiful. Dan T. Be Hall. safe out there. Dan T. Hall, Ghost Stories 4 again. It's at, at the IMAX. IMAX, yeah, uh, Saturday at 7.30. Prizes, guests, we're giving away a lot of cool stuff, so be there. And Colt Stadium announcer Mike Jansen. Stan Lear's got the news next. Why don't you introduce Stan the way you would? And, and on- now, Stan Lear up next with the news on 93. First news. down, Colts. <laughs> 93 1. <laughs> WIBC. There you go. I got there a cold. Go, I got man. a cold working. <laughs>